What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here with the distance. I got a prediction video for you guys: Sergio Martinez versus Sergey Zurich. Um, the Ring Magazine Middleweight Championship. Ridiculously, um, Martinez got his belts, got his belt stripped away, which is you know preposterous, but it is what it is. This is just for the Ring Magazine Middleweight Championship. Um, puts together. The champion, the lineal champion, Sergio Martinez against the WBO light middleweight champion, Sergey Zinzurik. Um, Zinzurik, for the last couple years, um, has been trying, has actually been trying to um, get a big matchup, and now this is his big opportunity. Um, if you guys weren't aware of this, um, Sergey Zinzurik um, actually wanted to fight Paul Williams, and he's always, and with Paul Williams. Every time he won an opponent, Sergey Zinzer for HBO was always on that list. But they just, but he just like um, never fought him. Um, he chose to fight you know, Martinez, and you know we saw the results of the second matchup and the first matchup, very close first match, knockout second matchup, and you know this leads us to this matchup, a guy that Paul Williams you know um, didn't want to face, um, Sergey Zinzer. Um, Sergey Zinzer. Is um, you know, I believe he's from Ukraine. He's fought Yoel Julio and Daniel Santos. Um, you know, he's been a champion for about four, about three, four years by now. About three, four years. Um, has not been too active. His um last match was against Daniel Dawson on Showtime back in May. Um, and the matchup was honestly um the matchup was a little. It wasn't the most action-packed matchup, but and it wasn't much of a showcase, neither. It was just, really, it was just um, Zinzurik boxing. I've seen Zinzurik in better matchups, but but um, it was just you know him in a fight. Um, kind of, it seemed, it just seemed like to be a sparring match, to be honest with you guys. Um, but he's a he's a pretty good overall fighter. He's he's a little he's not the most um, he's not the most exciting fighter, but He's just, you know, he's just um, a well-balanced fighter. Um, and Sergio Martinez, we all know Sergio Martinez. Sergio is the type of fighter that gives everybody trouble. You know, you know he's um, you know, he's southpaw. You know, he, he moves moves very well around the ring. Slick bobs and weaves, jabs very well. Um, just like Zanzuri, he puts his combinations together well. He's um, very subtle in the ring. Um, subtle movement. I mean, he has subtle. You know, he has subtle movements. Very skilled, and it just seems as if he's getting better um, with time. Each and every fight, he's about thirty-five years old, um, and you know, it just seems as if he's getting better. Um, just each and every fight. And um, last year, he had perhaps the knockout of the year when he knocked out Paul Williams. So, in this matchup for Sergey Zinzurik to win, Sergey Zinzurik is going to have to find a way to counter the jab. He's gonna have to find a way to um to um I think um something he does have to do is he's gonna have to move a little bit quicker in this matchup. He's gonna have to work a lot more than he wants to. He's gonna have to get out of his comfort zone in this specific matchup. And this is because Sergio Martinez is a fighter that moves a lot. Like, you know, Yo Julio does move. He moves a lot, but you know, um Martinez is much in my eyes, I think he's is much quicker. And much and puts his punches together much better than Yoel Julio, but I think I just think he's much better with movement. So and um, something with Zenzurik is Zenzurik's a counter puncher. Um, he's he has a counter punching style, and counter punches are known to be very tricky. I'm um, in the ring if you've noticed. Um, like with Floyd Mayweather, Bernard Hopkins, Juan Manuel Marquez, all three of them are counter punches, but they're tricky. They um. They can be aggressive when they have to be, and but also not only can they be aggressive, but they can use your aggression against you as a counter puncher. And Zinzer is going to have to be tricky in this matchup. He's going to have to be aggressive. He's going to have to come out, you know, and punch. He's going to have to come out, you know, use his jab, cut off the ring, maybe keep, um, maybe keep Martinez at the end of his jab. Um, but he's going to have to follow his shots up with more than two, three punches. Um, in this matchup against Martinez, who's a faster, you know, faster fighter, um, and and moves a lot, 
um, knows how to dictate the pace. So, Zinzurik's going to have to dictate the pace in this matchup. Zinzurik's going to be ha going to have to be the one that gets off. He's going to have to be the one that's aggressive. But also, he's going to have to use Martinez's aggre aggression against him. You know, he has to come over the top of Martinez's jab, maybe. Um, hit him with the um, left cross. You know, left cross over his jab. Um, you know, just... He just has to be very active in this matchup. Very active. Um, you know, put the punches together well inside. Um, doesn't do too much outside other than jab. But but overall, um, that's really all he can do is just um, be aggressive, but use Martinez's aggression against him. And and work a lot more than, than he's used to working. And he can very well take this matchup if he sticks to that type of um, routine. Sergio Martinez in this matchup is going to have to find a way to take away the jab of Zinzurik. A lot of stuff that Zinzurik does is dictated off of his jab. His um, jab is, you know, his jab establishment is probably the most important aspect of his repertoire for Zinzurik. Everything that Zinzurik does is off of his jab. It's off of his jab and not only is it off of his jab, but um, he doesn't throw too many punches. He'll throw about three punches, and you know, then that's it. That's the exchange. And I think Sergio Martinez, who has much quicker hand speed, much quicker on the feet, is just going to have to box on the move a lot in this matchup. He's going to have to use angles, jab from the angles, find the spots, pick his spots very well, and um, throw um, and, you know, throw his you know, throw his flurries, and. You know, maybe he can, and possibly he could just find, um, he could find a, a good counter shot knockout in Zurich the way he knocked out Williams. But I doubt that that's going to happen with um, Zurich. Why? Because Zurich's just not the type of fighter that takes risk. He doesn't really take many risks. He kind of does what he knows he can do and does what he knows that he can get away with. And also, you know, Martinez just has to box on the move because he's better on his feet. To Zinzurik. Um he doesn't want to square up with Zinzurik. He wants to. He wants a lot of movement. He wants to establish, you know, his jab. From you know, he wants to establish his jab, but he wants to to move a lot as well. He wants to move a lot, move in and out of range. Hit him with a few flurries, back out of range, kind of like what Ali did, um, and Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, kind of in that, you know, kind of in that realm of things. And he could very well take this matchup. Um, but what's going to be tricky about this matchup is, you know, it's a it's a southpaw versus southpaw matchup, and southpaw versus southpaw, it's going to be you know very um, it's going to be difficult for both of them possibly, you know, because you know, but um, the advantage that Martinez has is he's been in the ring with a southpaw that I'm pretty sure is right a right-handed southpaw, but. He's been in the ring with a southpaw that throws a lot of punches. You know, in his last two fights, he was against fighters that threw a lot of punches. So, that's the advantage that Martinez is going to have in this matchup, which is, in my eyes, is going to dictate the way I predict this matchup. I'm going to go with Sergio Martinez by unanimous decision because I think this matchup is is going to be, in a way, a bit of a step down in, in um activity in a way. He's not going to have to work as much in this matchup as he had to work against Pavlik or Williams. You know, both um, Pavlik and Williams in between each other, they average about 90 punches a round. In, um, you know, in their, in their best shape. You know, um, Pavlik was cut, but you know, he, was, he was, you know, starting to maintain his rhythm, but that's another story. But he's, he was against fighters that threw a lot of punches. Kermit Centron, another fighter, when he, when he wants to, throws a lot of punches. You know, he's been in the ring with guys that throw a lot of punches, and Zinzurik is the type of fighter that won't throw more than four in his combinations. You know, he'll he'll maybe most of the time he'll throw about three and the and the three are just inside within, you know, a certain range. But Martinez is quick enough to move out of the range and and just um and just um box him on the move. He's much quicker, his hand speed's much better, and I think I believe um his um skills I think his thinking level is more superior. I think that Zinzurik is just going to fight very safe in this matchup, which is why I'm going to go with Sergio Martinez in this matchup 
by unanimous decision. So anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.